Hey all, how's it going? Uh, as promised, I'm going to do the uh, Tokyo Marie MK23 upgrade in this video. I have already taken the gun to bits because uh, I've had to do a couple of little boring jobs that obviously you don't want to see me filming. So the outer barrel, I've just had to drill that with a 8.5 millimeter drill bit. You'll see why in a bit. And on the inside of the hop up tray chamber, there's usually a lug here on each side. Uh, that's to keep the barrel in place. What the barrel we're installing is a maple leaf crazy jet, 150 millimeter. And the little lugs on the side are at a different width, so that won't hold it in. So them lugs have to come off. So, <clears throat> here's the hop-up chamber, and that's the factory barrel. I have already got the Flamingo booking on, so we'll remove that. Get the new Maple Leaf Crazy Jet, and it's unbridged. So, get the book in. We'll put that in place. Make sure it's in the right place. Now what I do, I don't know if anybody else does it. Give me one minute. <clears throat> no matter what barrel or booking I'm using, I'll always put PTFE tape or plumber sealant tape, whatever you want to call it around the bottom of the booking it's just for a better air seal i do it on everything aegs sniper rifles pistols so let's get the ptfe tape it doesn't have to be in any direction because you're not threading it into any thread make sure it's not too tight that it squashes your booking Just make sure. That's fine, all in place. So now, we'll put it back into the hop up chamber. Now with this, you, because you've taken them lugs off, you need to be really careful that this is sitting straight inside your hopper you do have a little marker on the side I don't know if you can see it which shows you that the booking is in place locked in now I already have a TDC fitted uh, with this so I'll run through it right that is your hop arm which obviously pushes down on your booking but for better connectivity to your booking we're using the hadron h plate now the easiest way i've learned to fit this it's a bit disgusting but it works so get your plate, lick your plate, and push it into your hop arm, like that. And hopefully, no, it didn't stick. <laughs> Usually it sits, sits in, and you just place it on top, like so. Now there's a little... There's a little notch there where your arm goes, so you make, need to make sure that you get that parallel. So 
just a minute to make sure that booking's in correctly. Right, that's all in correctly and in place. So now what I usually do, I put the outer barrel on first, pinch it all together, slide it on, that holds it all together then. As you can see, you have to drill out because your inner barrel now pokes out further than the outer barrel, so that's why you have to drill it out. Uh, I used an 8.5 steel bit and I had to give it a little wiggle about inside the actual inner barrel so it'd fit. So an 8.5 8 drill bit is perfect. Uh, let's get the screws. I'm going to put the screw in the hot foot unit now in the outer barrel so yeah that uh, I mean it's a bit to to sand them lugs off I use I use some fine sandpaper and it took two minutes each side so it did come off really easy and the drill bit goes it self centers because you've got the the original hole there anyway and that that only took like two minutes tops so after all that screwed back together uh, a little bit of word of warning do not over tighten these two little screws here because they, the threads only go into plastic so you will de-thread them but if if you do just put a little bit just put one wrap of ptfe tape around them and screw them back in it'll be fine so now we have hadron tdc uh, i purchased all these from empire airsoft uh, they, they're brilliant got everything uh, the booking is the Flamingo 50 degree that I've got in here. Uh, I think the 60 degree is more suited towards like sniper rifles, like a higher calibre. But this this originally, straight out of the box, uh, would lift 0.35 easy. So now hopefully uh, I'm going to use the same sniper on the mission that I use. So that will be 0.43s, maybe heavier. So now this just clips on. Oh. Right. You do, the usually, there's usually a little spring in this hole here. You don't have to put it back in because the tension of the TDC keeps it tight anyway. But I just like to keep it in just, just in case I have to ever sell it or I get rid of the gun back in my like original... So yeah, that just clicks on like so, nice and tight, gives a good, really good flat hop with that H plate on, really good. So yeah, so we have the Crazy Jet 150mm barrel, uh, we had to bore out to probably 8.6, 8.7mm for that to fit in on the outer barrel. Uh, we fitted the Flamingo book in, uh, we put the H plate on top and then we put TDC unit on top of that. So now install the hop-up unit and the barrel back into the 
top of the gut. Slide all the original together. Now you pin, cock the gun slightly to meet up with the lugs on the opening. Push it in, cock it back. And there you go, all finished. TDC unit, new in a barrel. Uh, this was firing at, I think it was 230, no, 218 feet per second with 0.3s in, 0.35s. So uh, hopefully we should get, you should get an extra probably 20 to 15 FPS with this size barrel. Obviously you can go higher, uh, longer if you want to, but you have to use smaller ammunition obviously then because of jewels and everything like that. So get the silencer. Silencer goes straight on. Uh, I will be purchasing a Sniper Mechanics Hex uh, suppressor for this soon. I've just got to wait for them to come back in stock. Uh, put the magazine in. There's no BBs in and there's no BBs in the chamber because we've just had the hop up to bits. Nice and quiet. Well, there you go, guys. They're my upgrades, what I have in my MK23. Uh, any questions, leave me a comment. Uh, visit Go to Gilly Instagram and message me on there if you have any questions. Uh, if you can subscribe and like, I'd be most grateful. Cheers, guys. Thank you.